hotel room is made out of Legos. And this one comes with its own private island. Today, we're going to be looking at the most unique hotels in the world, even crazier than the ones Mr. Beast just stayed at. So we're starting with the least crazy unique hotel, which is already cool. It is a capsule hotel inside of Tokyo. These are insane. Look at this. Wow, look at that. It looks actually super cozy, but I want to see if like it does it actually close? Is there like a door or something like, oh, there is a door. So it's almost like sleeping in a little tiny airplane seat for a low price. That's pretty unique. Look at this place. You have to boat to it. It's a floating suite in the middle of the Key West, I think, the Keys in Florida, and you literally just get, well, I mean, it's not as private as the others. This is sick, all right? But we have so many cooler ones to come. Oh, look, we got Casey Neistat at an $18,000 per night hotel. It, it looks very old and dated to me so far, but I'm not loving it. It just looks like some rich dude's house. I mean, it's cool, but it's like, who's paying $18,000 to stay at this? Like, do you know how much other cool places you could go to for 18K per night? You could almost stay at a, uh, one of those villas for half a day. I don't, I don't like it. It just looks so, it just looks so old. You know, I'm not here for it. It's unique, but I don't like it. But here's a SpongeBob yeah, house. All right, guys, let's go and let's, go. let's do it. Let's see it. Oh, it's actually like a, it's like a legit house. Not like a little cardboard one that like a YouTuber builds. This like legit. Whoa. That's crazy. What? This is a SpongeBob house. Is this like a playhouse for kids or like, this, what, what, can you go here? What is this? There's like no context. This is a $100,000 suite. Hotel rooms at a whopping $200,000 for a two night stay. The room what? has many original pieces from Hearst collection, including a custom butterfly motif mosaic tiled pool what? overlooking the Las Vegas Strip. Oh wait, is this like one of the rooms that Mr. Beast stayed at? Is this the pill room? This looks like one of the worst deals ever because I just don't like art enough to ever, 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 ever buy it. And honestly, it doesn't even look that good. I feel like I could go catch some butterflies and randomly stick them on a piece of white paper and go collect medicine and make it and call it art. It doesn't make sense to me. Can someone explain this in the comments? But this one, $40,000 on a cruise. Do you have a slide in your room? Wow. That is crazy. I don't even know stuff like this existed. That is so sick, dude. I mean, that's just absurd. It's almost the first one that I've seen that I'm like, that's almost worth it. Like $40,000 for a potential week, maybe. If it is a week, that'd be sick. It looks like a daycare, but I don't care. Take a look at this. The largest overwater villa, villa in villa, 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 40K per night. Look at how beautiful this is, dude. Imagine waking up here on vacation and all you need is $40,000 per night. So guys, I'll make a deal with you today for every subscriber this video gets. I'll put $1 into a fund to go here one day. You can just rent the whole island. Whoa, guys, if you are literally like, like mind blown at this point, just wait till we get later in the video. This is just the beginning. This is crazy. It makes our other island look stupid. It doesn't even look real. I'm like also a little bit upset that people live like that and I don't get to, to be honest with you. Like it does make me jealous. I'm going to show you a hotel room worth $60,000 per night. We're at Atlantis. 60,000 per night. That's going to the Royal Bridge Suite. No way. 60,000 per night. Look at the cars. Wow. How do you wait? Let's go inside. Come on. I'm not that impressed with this one. It is what? Underwater. Oh, that's cool. I don't love it, to be honest. For $60,000, <laughs> it looked very generic to me. I'm just not a fan, personally. This is one of the most expensive hotel rooms in the entire world. You literally walk outside of this room and you have your own private pool, your own deck, an outdoor shower, and the entire Indian Ocean. It's the only that's underwater cool. hotel on Earth located in the middle of the ocean, halfway across the world at the Conrad Maldives. So Dang. I looked it up and I called the hotel. This is the underwater. The underwater hotels go for $30,000 a night. Oh, 30k per night. That's uh, wow. Wow. Plus, if you're bringing your friends and you're all rich, then you only pay like what 3,000 each per, per night. That's still a lot, but it's not as bad. Side of the mountain beds. This is sick. Whoa. I would totally do this one. This is so cool. Like we're literally taking the crazy meter and the uni unique meter and going up a level. This is so cool. I mean. It, at nighttime, it might look a little bit scary, to be honest with you. Like, you could plummet to your death and, like, never be able to see your friends again because you die, but it's not too bad. Airbnb competition to sleep inside a fish tank with 35 sharks. Airbnb what? are offering its users the chance to win a night in an underwater bedroom at Aquarium de Paris. It'd be really cool, but what would suck is I don't know if there's curtains, and I feel like I could not sleep without privacy. And if I'm in an aquarium, I'm assuming people could see me all night, and I would feel really weird about that. But it is really cool. This is apparently Airbnb's most ever requested listing, and it's a treehouse. Whoa! It's like a legit dream treehouse you would have as a kid. No wonder it's the most requested. That's so cool. I swear, guys, I'm not even joking. Seeing this makes me think if I ever like left YouTube for any reason, I would start designing tree houses and put them somewhere in Ohio because Ohio has land that looks like this. This could even be in Ohio and I could literally do this. I could be the next tree house, man. Cube houses. What? 
I've never seen anything like this in my life. Bro, wait, I'm so confused by how this even... What? Whoa. That is weird. How would you decorate a room like this? This is a Tokyo hotel, an Alice in Wonderland room. It is the craziest looking hotel I've ever seen. Look at this. This is one single room. Where even is this? This would be a fun room to stay in, but there has to be some sort of like secret. There's gotta be like a secret entrance in here. Like there's a lot of really cool stuff, but that's the old looking TV to be honest. And I don't see any secret. I don't see anything like spectacular. It's all mid, it's good, but it's mid. No slide, no like magical Alice in Wonderland, like chessboard or something. It's just not, it's mid, it's not for me. $5,000 outer space hotel. This one is in Disney. I, I've heard this was very expensive, but is it worth it? It is cool. I think it's a very cool idea from Disney, to be honest, and it looks kind of cool. Let's see. I feel like maybe that could show a little more movement. Oh, it has some movement. That is cool. All right, all right, what else we got here? Green milk and blue milk. Wow. Imagine having parents that took you to something like this. Oh my God. I'll tell you this though, of all the hotels we've seen, some of the wild prices, like $100,000 for some old dude's like house, this is probably the best deal I feel like we've seen. Like this one has so much to it and it's Star Wars and it's got like fun games and stuff. Like this one I feel like is probably a little more worth it. I just don't know if it's 5K per night or what, but that's, it's cool, dude. It's cool. I would do it. I would actually do that for real. A Toy Story hotel room. Dude, there's so many unique hotels I didn't even know existed. So the whole thing is Toy Story? Wow, that's kind of cool. I feel like you have a lot of potential to make a pretty exciting room, so this better not be disappointing. Oh, here's the bedroom, here we go. I love the numbers, I love it, I love it already. And if that's the key, that's even better. Please be a physical key, don't be on your phone. No, physical key. All right, so cool, whatever. Okay, you know what, no, never mind. that's pretty sick. I'll take it, I'll take it. All right, this, this is a fun room, this is a fun little adventure. I would definitely enjoy this, but I don't really like Toy Story, but I'll still enjoy it. What it's like to sleep in a Boeing 747 in the middle of what looks like Antarctica. Can the insulation be, well, I guess it would be good. It can fly in the cold temperature. It's kind of cool. I would love to sleep in the cockpit of the airplane. That would be really fun to just pull all the controls and see if I can get to take it off maybe on accident. It seems a little cramped and uh, it's a weird location. The fact there's like a highway next to it, but it is pretty cool. Harry Potter Hotel, okay. I just finished Harry Potter. So like, I feel like I could go here. Let's see what we're, let's see what we're dealing with. Early on underwhelming, I feel like. It doesn't really feel like Harry Potter to me that much. It looks like Ikea furniture, but okay. Let's keep going. A generic mirror. Where's the magic? Freaking incense from Amazon. What is it? These look like Amazon basics decorations. What is this? It really, it doesn't really feel Harry Potter like to me. It feels like, uh, yeah, I don't know. Bro, this thing sucks. I'm sorry. I hate this. This is the Sweden year round ice hotel. I would love this because I love like being cold. Wow. I think they like build it every year or something. I would actually love to do that. That's probably one of my top three from this video so far. 4.25 million luxury fort hut. Why would someone buy a fort? Who needs this? This is a Jeff Bezos kind of thing. Why would you buy it? Bro, I don't think a train gets there. I'm gonna be honest with you, unless there's an underwater train. You can buy a full lighthouse. I mean, dude, the things money can buy, unreal. 91 foot aquarium pool. That is the strangest looking house. The pool is the aquarium. Wow, that is cool. I'll live there. Whoa, eco-friendly Park Royale in Pickering, Asia's leading green hotel in Singapore. Whoa, cool. How do you water them? Cause all my plants die when I put them outside. That is beautiful. Whoa. Can we make all buildings look like this? Do you know how gorgeous that would be? Look at that. This is so cool. Imagine living at the bottom and you think you have a great view and there's freaking trees in your way, but it would be so peaceful. I would love the bottom view with the trees in my face. Now guys, this is probably our craziest place you could stay at and it is an actual palace. Now I'm not sure what it costs to stay at the Omaid Blonde Palace, but I've got to assume it's about infinity dollars to stay here. I mean, look at how insane this place is. You get welcomed by musicians and staff of the palace and uh, I mean, just look how insane this is, dude. You're like a full drum line when you come in. This is unbelievable to me. I mean, it's like the room looks like it's made of pure gold. It's the most opulent looking thing I've ever seen before. This is gorgeous. And I would not stay at it. I'd pick so many other hotels before this one, guys. Guys, tag your friends down below which hotel you want to stay at with them one day. See you guys later. Peace.